clean drinking water. Our lives depend on it. The tap water we drink is taken from natural sources and treated in water purification plants to make it safe. However, 30% of the world's population, about 2 billion people, have no access to safe drinking water. A major reason is the high cost of constructing and maintaining water purification plants. Nakamoto Nobutada is a researcher who's long sought ways to solve this problem. His breakthrough idea was to purify water using natural ecosystems. In regular water purification plants, river water is first passed through a sedimentation tank to remove debris. It's then filtered through layers of sand and finally sterilized with chlorine. These three major processes are costly due to their reliance on chemicals and power. Nakamoto focused on the second process. A professor of biology, Nakamoto spent many years studying the algae that live in these sand layers. This is a sample of sand and algae from a purification plant that uses Nakamoto's methods. Under a microscope, we see it's teeming with many kinds of microorganisms. These organisms need oxygen to thrive. It's the algae that produce the oxygen. Algae produce this essential oxygen by a process of photosynthesis. The microorganisms then clean the water by consuming dirt and impurities. This natural approach significantly reduces chemical treatment and power costs. Nakamoto's method is now helping deliver safe drinking water in more than 30 countries. It's nature that does the work. We've always dreamed of an energy-saving system that coexists with nature. This is it. A very different approach is also proving successful in tackling the problem. Just fill this bottle with water and press, and all harmful substances are removed. The secret is a substance packed into the cartridge. These are sodium tritetanate crystals Using them to purify water is a world first. The crystal's atomic structure traps heavy metals like lead, removing them from the water. This artificial crystal was developed by Teshima Katsuya. Several substances are combined to form the crystals. It took Teshima 10 years of repeated experiments adjusting the ratio of the chemicals by amounts as small as one thousandth of a gram. All my life I've wanted to contribute something useful to the world. It was a very emotional moment when I finally perfected this process. Teshima is now working to apply his technology to meet the world's need for safe drinking water. In many parts of Africa, public health is seriously harmed by polluted wells and other water sources. These crystals will hopefully be a major contribution to the drinking water problem. I'm now conducting trials to see how effective they are in practice. Japanese water purification technology, bringing clean water to people around the world.